A new poll is in, and it shows President Tsai Ing-wen with a wide lead in the 2020 elections. The pro-independence Taiwan New Constitution Foundation found that Tsai, with 51 percent of the vote, would comfortably win a two-way against Han Guoyu. Even if Taipei Mayor Ke wen were to join the race, Tsai would remain at the top. So for now, she has the upper hand in the polls, but she is still without a running mate. She recently spoke to Lai Qingde over the phone, fueling the hopes for some voters for a Tsai Lai ticket next year. After his defeat in the DPP primary, Lai spent some time abroad. Now that he's returned to Taiwan, he's back in touch with the president. We are well aware of his circumstances. We have been in contact with him. On Monday, Tsai called Lai. Although she didn't ask him to join her ticket outright, she said she wanted to discuss election matters in person. Lai reportedly declined, saying that there was no need for that at the moment. But one of Lai's longtime allies, pro-independence stalwart Gu Quanmin, has expressed his desire to see a Tsai Lai ticket. Yes, I'm truly hoping for this. Most Taiwanese are hoping for this. In due time, we will absolutely put forth the best combination. A new poll from the Taiwan New Constitution Foundation shows that in a two-way race, Tsai would win with 51 percent support, beating out Hans 31.2 percent. If Ke were to join the race, Tsai's rating would slip to 41.9 percent, but she would remain ahead of Hans 25.7 percent and Ke's 22.6 percent. Today, one of Ke's former aides blasted the mayor for his political ambitions. He often says that the DPP forced him to run. I can't help but suspect that he has persecutory delusional disorder. He can't control his emotions and he talks irresponsibly. He's just an angry bird. The poll shows that even with Kerr's new party in the game, the electorate still prefers the DPP. The KMT ranks number two. Kerr's new political party ranks third, edging out the new power party.